down on 23rd Street here and we're running into the Leo Kona Gallery to see Nickel Eisenman, Woodcuts, Etchings, Lithographs and Monotypes. Well, we had a pretty good turnout considering it was raining like hell about uh, half an hour ago. Oh, here's Savannah Spirit. Uh, the uh, coverage of the Whitney Biennial. We had an opportunity to see another wall of these monoprints. And uh, I didn't realize it at the time, but that was actually Nicole's second inclusion in a Whitney Biennial. able to locate a, uh, a gallery guide so I don't have a title for these pieces. I'll just take a little stroll along and look at them. It's kind of nice. I wonder if she uh, works over these after she gets them printed. It looks like she does. She's got some collage elements in these. I think uh, Nicola's got a great sense of line. This is a fun piece. A uh, rip on a Van Gogh. Robert Crumb. This is a very impressive and ambitious etching. It's got to be maybe three and a half by four feet. And uh, looks like she's doing a little mesotint there, along with the uh, soft brown, maybe spit bites. Looks like we've got the woodcuts. Oh, 
just makes me think of uh, Picasso's linoleum cuts. That's nice. Sanchin Poulet. Different versions of this a man kissing a penguin. Now we've got a series of uh, looks like stone printed lithographs. She's done a great job of uh, really getting nice contrast on that. She's got some black blacks, velvety blacks. I would say that uh, her uh, intense work of uh, the print medium would speak to her uh, interest in kind of preserving a, a legacy of graphic arts. And uh, this is nice, we got a little collage piece in there. She's got a real uh, strong attraction to the to the classic legacy of uh, early modernism and uh, people like Lautrec and Picasso did a lot of prints. She worked over this one with watercolor. Ouija board. Well, we're going to wrap up with a quick run through of uh, some etchings here in the back gallery. Thank you. 